Hey, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play. JG almost belched audibly, but managed to make it inaudible. Also known as Let's Play Wolong Fallen Dynasty. I am the uh, aforementioned mysterious JG. Uh, a reasonably intelligent, capable person, uh, IRL, who gets on YouTube to act like an incompetent moron. And it's not an act. It's just that I'm an intelligent, capable person in real life who checks all that at the door when it's time to let's play. <laughs> so what we're doing here is, oh, you know, I intentionally left that screen up so we could actually uh, read what the mission is about. And then uh, then started the recording and promptly forgot that's what's going on. But, but the story right now is we are in the last uh, available side quest to us before we need to continue on with the main story. And it is that Liu Bei is the prefect of blah blah territory whatever so we uh he sends us a letter and asks us to help him deal with some demons and although our acquaintance was brief as i remember this much from the little bit of uh narrative text although our pain although our acquaintance was brief it was a time of shared triumph and sorrow and it would not be wrong to leave our friend in their time of need and that's actually quite a noble sentiment and uh very much in line with the morality of the three kingdoms novel like you know, Taishi Tsi and Liu Bei have a very brief acquaintance early in the story, and Taishi Tsi pops up later on, and they kind of... Why did I bring up Taishi Tsi? Other than the fact that they talk about... They talk about shared triumph and sorrow during their brief acquaintance. Um, Taishi Tsi never really fights directly against... He becomes an officer of Wu. He never fights against Shu directly in any way that I can recall. So I just kind of went off in a... Uh, a dead-end cul-de-sac uh, departure into the novel there. But the point is, yeah, in the, it, like... People meeting after years who fought together against the Yellow Turbans or whatever is kind of a big thing in the Three Kingdoms novel, like, you know. Uh, but here, we are, we're dealing with Liu Bei, we're dealing with Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Liu Bei, I guess, is just not going to be a combat character, which is fine. I'm, I'm kind of surprised Cao Cao was. Um, it would make more sense in my headcanon for, you know, the Ji Hao brothers slash cousins whatever they are, to be combat partners, and Cao Cao to be more of a story character. It makes utter sense for Gu uh, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei to be guys who would be fighting alongside of you. Liu Bei, it's not that he didn't fight, it's just that was he was not known for his prowess as a warrior as much as his brothers were. Uh, the brothers, yeah, they're like a byword for uh, loyalty and dependability. It's interesting, like, I, I've heard about this, like, you know, it, for, for a Chinese businessman, and business is very different in china it's a communist society like a lot of it is about not running afoul of the party but it's it would be very common for you know a chinese person visiting at the office of another chinese person for the, there, there might be traditional artwork depicting the three brothers and it's a simply like they they are a cultural byword for trustworthiness even which is interesting because in the novel shang fei messes up at various times and costs liu bei there's like you know one major um you know, point where he loses the city. You know, he, he basically is left in charge of the city. Uh, he loses it to, to Lu Bu through just being drunk and and getting, you know, messing up. And he's, ba but he's, you know, he's basically, he's willing to forfeit his life to, to pay Liu Bei back and Liu Bei forgives him. And Shang Fei over the decades goes on to provide great service. But the point of the brothers is Guan Yu and Shang Fei will do anything for Liu Bei. Uh, Liu Bei can depend on them utterly, even though there's this one famous example of Shang Fei failing him but it's it's honest it's it, there's never any there's no moment ever where either brother any of the three brothers would betray each other why am I talking about this I don't know maybe I'm putting off starting the game <laughs> this is the most this is by far the most challenging and stressful of the games I'm currently let's playing uh while feeling like um super chill compared to Neo 2 I I kind of like the balance this game struck it's hard but it's not quite as brutal and nasty as Neo 2 is. Neo 2 got to the point where I was like, it was an interesting experience, but I constantly felt like I was looking like an idiot playing it on online because the game is so tough and it's so easy to die. In this one, when I'm not fighting bosses, I'm usually fairly comfortable, and I haven't found a boss to be as nasty as the first boss in a while. I had a really hard time with the first major boss, and like, Part of it, I guess, is that we've now reached the point where the poison element is much easier to, to utilize. That's been really... I, I mean, there are bosses that are specifically 
uh, strong against it, but it doesn't seem like any... <sighs> bosses are strong and weak against different elements. It's not like with Neo where there's status ailments, where it's very common for a boss to be almost entirely immune against the various status ailments. In this game, unless they're specifically strong against the metal element, you're going to be able to do something with poison. And poison, I found, is more useful in that it limits their uh, their chi, or ki, however you're supposed to pronounce it. Then it's not the tick damage from the poison, it's the fact that it makes it much easier to stun them and get them to where you can deliver the big, uh, the big hit. So blah, blah, blah. Five minutes wasted. I tend to do this when I haven't played the game in a, in a bit. But we're on a side quest here. Uh, and we've got backup. It's another thing I like about this game compared to the Neo games. Neo 2 did it more often than Neo 1, but like having having allies aid you in battle just feels really nice. This is a surprise. I wasn't sure I would see you again. Well, you asked me to show up. This is where I came after we dealt with the yellow turbans. And it now seems that demons are attacking. Mm -hmm. We must do all in our power and keep the people safe. I shall never forget the tear-stained cheeks of our people. They're so ruddy. I, Gwen Yu, wish to accompany you on this mission. Gwen Yu? Ah, I'm glad to see you've come. Ah, I didn't notice you were talking to those guys. If we do, you know victory's assured. If we don't, you know we're all fucked. So this is where you came after, uh... The yellow turbans. So you're surprised that demons showed up in this clearly demonic area, eh? All right, well. So we got three main flags and no sub flags to find, which is making me think this might be, yeah, some kind of gauntlet mission. Where we just fight a certain amount of enemies. Yeah, that, that's, I think, what we're seeing here. These these enemies are showing up. They are not... They are not necessarily being things where I get to creep around and avoid contact. They're just spawning. So probably there's a series of spawn areas, and each time we deal with a new one, we get a new flag, which is our new save point. That might be what's happening. Yeah, see? Like, there's a little path we could go up, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's just, if we knew the layout of the place, we might be able to find, like, little corners where it would be handy to use against enemies. But there's only one path to go, and... Alright, we beat the first spawn area. That was quite easy. I would assume they're going to get harder. Lieutenant General Grievous. General Grievous. You, um, do you know who I am? Like, you, you take your orders from Dooku. Like, now you're taking orders from me. Like, one of the many things about the prequels I didn't understand. Does General Grievous know who Darth Sidious is? Or Darth Plagueis? Or Darth, whoever the fuck? Tyrannus was Count Dooku, right? Whatever. Why am I talking about this? Alright, I assume enemies going to start popping here, yeah. Not leave uh, Guan Yu on his own for too long. Ow, damn. You evaded. They're fairly competent. Like, they can deal some damage on their own. I want to figure out what map we're on too. This is the uh, it's the level where we fought the the magical uh, Jang brother at the end. Is he piping out my brothers? Nah, he's not. You did. Yeah, that was an easy kill. Nobody can stop us. I didn't find it that easy, but okay. He'll outstop me. That's three of three, right? Okay, well, we've got all the flags. But yeah, we're on that. We're at the. 
we started in the end of the level where you work your way towards um, Zhang, whatever. Not Zhang. I can never remember the difference between um, the general of Earth and the general of man, but I know that Zhang, Zhang Xiao is the general of heaven. I can't remember which is which between his brothers. But this is the second brother who was like, you can teleport and shit, making yellow turbans catch fire when they dared to ask questions, that guy. The first boss, like, seemed like just a, a Zhang Fei style guy who might have been actually a good guy under different circumstances. But the second brother was just, yeah, he's just fucking evil. It's like some scary Palpatine wannabe with, like, all decrepit and wearing robes and using evil magic on his own guys. Uh, and this is his level, but we're kind of making our way through it backwards and presumably not going all the way to the end of it here because we've already hit all the flags. And Guan Yu just teleports in. Yeah, they're all out of these little groups, too, like... Like, if we... We have to kill them off to weaken a leader, uh... Whoa, fuck! Rushing for victory can oft lead to defeat. Rushing... Yeah, rushing off a cliff was not wise. Oh, so I... That was interesting. I respawn, but with zero hit points. Rather than it being game over. That was odd. Like, I guess if I had... I kind of thought I was already dead. I guess if I'd really quickly evade rolled and... Uh, and hit something to get new health, I would have... Uh, like, used a dragon pot, it would have been fine. Interesting. Alright, well, we lost some uh, morale or spirit or whatever the fuck. Ah, that was stupid. I almost uh, healed in the blast radius. That would have been dumb. Wi-Fi connection loss, says my TV. So you guys aren't... Like, you guys aren't seeing that. This message is not on my PlayStation screen. It's on my TV itself. Fuck that up in a bat. Like, really messed that up. Okay. So here's the guy that this is actually all about. On there a second. I was trying to heal. Oh, that was actually really easy. With me stun-locking him with uh, poison and those guys actually attacking, that was so much easier than it should have been. Well, whatever the plot wants is down here. Like, are we done? Because I thought it said, like, glorious victory, like we've won the, the, the stage. Okay, Liu Bei's is down here to chat with us. All right, that wasn't too bad at all. Many demons fell to our blades today. Uh, none fell to your blades, Liu douchebag. I do not expect I will be able to remain in this region for long. I read ahead in the book. Nonetheless, I hope we meet again. I shall not forget you. You are, after all, the only Caucasian in this country. Use their power. That is justice in its purest form. I shall remember what you have done here. Zhang Fei, you gonna throw in something? Our demon slaying duties are done. Now to get back and have ourselves a feast. Well, at least he's talking about feasting and not just drinking. Okay. All right. I was like, okay, what do you want me to do, game? You want me to step away from Liu Bei? Okay, the game is, in fact, a cop with a megaphone saying, Step away from Liu Bei! We're willing to listen to your demands, but you have to step away from Liu Bei! Let us uh, return to our current main battlefield. So, yeah, that was a chill little uh, side mission. I could see myself... I don't know how many... Uh, experience points we get for that but like if the if the resource you drop from that i haven't done a lot of off screening in this game uh like grinding for points i've done i did a little early and it's been a while since it felt like that would be really necessary but i will say that was a chill little mission where we had support it didn't take long like whatever items drop there like level three steel or whatever like if i ever get to a point where we need to farm for that 
that seems like a, a, a thing I could just rerun over and over with the sound down while watching a Mr. Science Theater just grind that resource up and utilize it. So that's cool. And like right now, I feel really stuck on the equipment I'm using because I've put resources into upgrading it. But like, yeah, eventually I'm just going to need to be willing to upgrade a couple of things. Just, you know, spend level two leather and level three steel or whatever just to like upgrade something and see that now nah, you know what i upgraded it and it's still not that good so don't fall into the sunk cost fallacy just like yeah this thing sucks like i know i spent resources on it but it sucks so it's not going to not suck just because i spent resources on it i shouldn't be using it but so far we've done well like they, this game doesn't seem to be as super dependent on your equipment um being able to play the game ish makes a difference Anyway, so, anyway, oh, hi guys, anyway, so the, the plot here, well, we'll talk with uh, the lovely ladies, uh, Song, whoever, I think she's going to turn out to be Jiao Chan, uh, but we got Lady Zhen here as well. Uh, let's chat with them to remind ourselves what the story is, but I think this is, Dong Zhuo has just materialized as the threat, and uh, I think we're getting ready for the, the Battle of Sishui Gate, or... Hulong, Hulao Gate, one of those, one of those gates. So I got a bad feeling we have to deal with Lu Bu before this mission's over. But yeah, generally this is like the beginning of the coalition fighting against Dong Zhuo. Who could have taken the elixir from Zhang Rong? Uh, I don't know. We need to go to Luoyang again and investigate. Okay. Dong Zhuo is a dangerous man. Who took the you elixir? To not underestimate him. He is also a fighter like you. Don't underestimate him. He is also a fighter like you. All right, so it'd be nice. Maybe uh, what's her face? The blacksmith lady might be around here somewhere. We got enemies right down there. Oh, this is. Never mind. This is uh, Dong Zhuo's camp. We're just hanging around outside of it. I thought, like logically, maybe we were at our own. An error has occurred. Okay. Apparently, the game really didn't like me picking up that bit of loot. Ooh, is this a siege weapon I can use? No, it's a siege weapon. It is a siege weapon I can use. Cool. There's only three left. We're saved for the time being. In the rear with the gear. Wow, okay. I'm in over my head really suddenly. So these were not just regular guys down here. We're fighting against named dudes. Oh, I guess we're not. This is you wrong. I just happened to take on the only guy who's not a regular dude. A network error occurred as I died. That was annoying. Okay. All right, so I didn't quite understand the situation. I could probably be a little more clever about it now. All right. Here is a major complaint I have about this fucking game. It does not pause when you get uh, network error messages. So I don't know why I'm getting a network error message right now. Uh... Doesn't look like I can do anything with, uh... Yeah, because it's asking me to connect to the network, and, and, uh... I know this is a thing that is possible. Uh, because I, I got a little network error earlier. Capture game images, whatever. I'm, no, why am I... I didn't mean to go here. I'm just looking for some place in the menu where I can uh, get back online. But it'd also be like super nice if it didn't matter. Because what I, all I really care about is I don't want to keep get. I don't care if I'm online or offline. The game lets you play offline, which is fine with me. I just don't want this fucking 
Yeah, I don't want this. Like, god damn it. Because I'm online. This is not, uh... Uh... I don't know if I should be doing this in the middle of a video, but it's like... It was, it was giving me trouble with my internet before. Okay, there's something going on with my PS4 internet. Fine. Just stop. I'm in offline mode. I'm fine with that. Just stop giving me the goddamn error message, which fills my screen with text and doesn't pause gameplay. Like, that is the only variation on this that is completely unacceptable to me. All right, let's get this guy. Oh, you're still alive? What a jerk. Oh, I need to get up there and kill you. Also, I need to remember how locking onto targets works, because I seem to have lost that knowledge somewhere along the way. Oh wow, there's a, there's another guy I didn't know about here, okay. Oh, you're gonna head up here, are you? I'm trying to get rid of this, his associates here, but they're jumping around randomly. Oh, are they respawning? That would make it so I need to not concentrate on them. Sinjin, are you still here to, to be assisted or... Maybe not. Maybe it's just a... Uh... Oh, that didn't work at all. He keeps not getting hit by my spells. There we go. That should be really irritating to him, too. Soon, Jin. I barely did anything. Your assistance is most welcome. Even though I kind of like took the credit for Sun Jin's win there, like he didn't really do that much to help. Yeah, Zhu Rong is of course defeated by Sun Jin. Uh, he's like the big general. Well, in the novel, he's beaten by Guan Yu. I think in real history, he was beaten by Sun Jin. I'm afraid to report that my son, Sun Tse. Has rushed ahead and got stuck behind enemy Isn't he like six at this point? Plow through all of them myself and retrieve him. But there are simply too many of them. Mm. However, I believe you. I was about to ask, like, do you want me to help your son? You didn't actually say that. You find my son and bring him back. Drag him if you must. Oh, I'll drag him, all right. I'm quite able to handle myself out here, but Bofu is in grave danger. So please. Bofu? I didn't know that was Sin Sin's courtesy name. Zhu Rong, meanwhile, still grunting. I like Sin Jin in this game. Like, I like his portrayal. He's he's a competent warrior. He's he's of noble birth, but 
like he sees talent in you and is like he like respects it like he works with you i guess all of them are like that but south in particular is like i don't know i'm not getting a feel for what his relationship is with the protagonist but sin jin's like dude stick with me like i want you around you are you're you're capable i want you around because like yeah i'll i'll use you for sure in my army because you're really fucking good at what you do uh i think we were just going everything up to 12. doesn't involve having to think that hard weight limit hasn't been an issue but that's because i haven't been upgrading or changing equipment much this is just spirit gained when attacking Neither of these are really doing anything huge for us at the moment, but I'm leveling up fairly evenly until I get to the point where I can use all the spells I need, and then I'll probably just start really going heavily into metal. I'm going to get super into metal, dude. Oh, these guys are back? If we use this, it seems we could turn the tides in our favor. My body is at its limit. Oh, okay. I already beat you wrong. Like, he's not coming back, is he? Oh, now there's a wizard up here. I didn't... Whatever, I fucked that up. I thought you could, like, press and hold to charge a shot, and... That was not, in fact, in the cards. I just avenge you, Mao. How now, Zhu Mao? Oh, I see you guys have come up here to join me. Fair enough. Uh, okay, I was hitting the dodge button and they all hit me. And I desperately need to get some health back if you guys give me this demo. Boop. Oh, come on. How did I not kill him? Well, anyway, his, his AI seems to have broken anyway, so it's fine. Uh... Oh, fuck you. So I appear to now have enough hit points that my dragon cures are... Bit, like... It takes two, maybe three to even get all my HP back. HP. Because I'm British. Boop. 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 Man, all the hit points I got back from that's amazing. Okay, so made a bit of a mess of that, but on the plus side, it's been a while since we've got that error message, so maybe it's going to just let me play an offline mode without giving me shit about it every couple of seconds. And now that I've mentioned that, I probably just uh, cursed it, but... Sinjin, you still over here? You and, uh... Nope. Oh, you're an enemy. I thought... I, I can, See, I keep getting confused about whether I'm in, in an enemy camp or my own. But you were over here guarding a little mini flag, so I am glad I back came back here. And that increased my fortitude ranking. See, I would there would definitely be a Kadama back here if this game had Kadamas. Kadamas are like, nah, man, we we got no business in being in ancient China. That ain't how we roll. Listen, Gaijin, <laughs> I know you think all Asian cultures are the same, but we are not. We are we are in a much later historical period, and we're in Japan, all right? I'm quite able to handle myself out here, but Bofu is in grave danger. So please, stop fucking around and rescue my son! God damn it! I've abandoned my son. I've abandoned my child. I've abandoned my boy. I've abandoned my Bofu. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not going forward, I'm, I'm going back, but... Oh, it's one of them assassin types. Ooh. 
Oh man, how'd he get a hit on me there? I swore I'd figure this shit out. Shiver with swordsman, dual swords. I guess I am uh, progressing forward after all. Hey, friend. Oh, I'm glad he really had poor eyesight. All right, so uh, this will be the end of an episode. And when we come back next time, I won't spend several minutes introing uh, with just weird random nonsense. We'll get right to the action. We're on a mission from God, a.k.a. Sunjin, to rescue Bofu. Catch you guys next time.